Yes. Uh, welcome back. So uh, it's getting ready to break loose again, and we want to get the onions out of the ground. She put a little tattoo or no. some Connect artwork. The dots. Yeah. Wait, That's that. neat. So anyway, we want our the what we're wanting to do tonight is get the onions pulled before they rot. Last year, last year we made the mistake of leaving them in the ground too long, and maybe it was a sulfur issue. Maybe it's because we had the ground piled up too close. Anyway, a lot of them rotted. We lost, I think, probably over half. We still have a lot of onions, but we don't want to make that mistake again this year. So. We're going to pull this stuff out before uh, it does uh, break loose again on us. I was like, really? Well, then we need to hurry. <laughs> so, I mean, the garden is doing really well because of all the rain. Hey, the onions over here, kids. Hey, bud. I don't know if you realize it or not, but it's getting ready to rain, so we need to pull the onions. Are we only getting the onions? Yes. That's all we're getting. Do you have one and one's with a big seed flower or something? Um, yeah. So just go down the row. You're going to pull them Why do we need to pick straight them? out. They should come right out. Shake them best you can. <laughs> Shake them best you can, and we'll put them in that little basket here. If we work together, we'll get them done real quick. We're going to get these pulled. Um, there's a lot of mosquitoes. Uh, yeah. Fun times. But uh, once we get them pulled, the next step will be storing them. We're going to be you know, drying them. And don't toss them, bud. We don't want to bruise them. Really? Now, this one is not wet ready. All right, well, go down the patch and pull the big ones. So go ahead. We're going to pull them and then we're going to dry them. So. Well, you need to come down the road here. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, it's two. See that? Olivia, ta da! Another two. Alright, so we'll try to get what we can out of here, and then, like I said, we're gonna um, build a little frame so we can dry them out real good. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should have brought the bug spray. <laughs> Alright. Okay, can you help pick onions? Get these pulled real quick, and then we'll go from there. I think this is pretty stunning. I guess that's it for now. Uh, okay. So we're back at the house. You know, we did get rained out. It's pouring down rain. We got most of the onions harvested there in the back of the van. Uh, the ones that we had pulled uh, about a week ago, I went ahead and hung up on these clothes racks, just kind of draped them over. But what I want to do is build a... A little frame um, that's maybe like a foot a foot wide and then maybe you know eight foot two by fours and then run like a wire mesh over it that's got the, you know the bigger holes where I could drape these ends through it so that the onions would basically sit on the wire mesh and hang like that and dry out a little bit and then once they're dried or once they dry out you know cut off most of that end and leave um, about you know six inches or so if possible and then string them up on a twine using a, a method I saw uh, a couple other people doing um, so we'll see how that works out for now, we're going to wait the rain out, and then I'll probably pull the rest of the onions in and sort them. Um, we did get to them in time. You know, they weren't rotten yet, but I, with all the rain that we've gotten lately and just kind of the stage of growth that they're at, there would have been, you know, some rot in here. They would have started rotting. So, um, 
we got to them early enough this year, I think, that we'll be okay. Well, welcome back to the Little Gardening Hi, Show. Daddy. <laughs> um, the, the pretend president is living here, and so I have to give Ooh, everything. Hey, you have to go see the president. All right. So, a couple days ago, we harvested most of the onions. We yep. picked the rest of them today. Yep. The challenge now is yep. to get them to dry yep. out, yep. you know, so they don't rot. Some of the stems are a little moist, so it remains to be seen. Moist. We should have probably picked these or pulled them maybe a week earlier and done this, but we did get most of them before um, they started rotting. What you? Whoops. So what we got here is just uh, some uh, what do you say, wire president? roll fencing that was left over okay. from uh, fencing in the bottom part of this deck to keep the dog from going under it. Because mm -hmm. so right now we got a little miniature docks in that. She goes out, she's mostly a house dog. Um, so anyway, we got this fencing, wire roll fencing. It's about three foot tall. It's a, about two by four inch holes there. And they're perfect for the onions. So we just rigged up some that was stuff that we had on hand. We had some PVC pipe. I um, mean, there's still there's quite a bit of weight on here already. We just put our sawhorses here, and I just clipped out, you know, about six foot of uh, wire roll fencing. We ran our uh, PVC pipe through the holes. They're sticking out on that end. It's supposed to be stick, not quite sticking out here, but they're. Supporting the weight. And then as you can see, we got the onions hanging. Now what we started doing was uh, snapping off about half this growth. Because really we're only going to need about four to six inches of this dried. Uh, to be able to string them up. So we're going to put them on this wire. Mesh, we're gonna just leave them out here in the shade, and the wind's gonna to get to them. Um, in times it's raining or something, I can put a tarp over this uh, to keep them dry. But the idea is we're gonna let these dry out, kind of cure. And uh, once they're dried out and the, the stalks have browned, um, we will tie them on on strings. And uh, be able to hang them up in bunches, you know, in a dark, cool place. We won't store them with the potatoes because uh, the potatoes and onions don't get along um, with the, the uh, chemical that is emitted from the onions. So try to store them in separate drawers, separate locations. Alright, feed them in there, bud. It's going to work out perfect for uh, the amount of onions that we've got. We should have uh, at least yeah, half this. Is this, this rotten? Uh, might be. Just throw it aside for now. Daddy. Okay, so um, as you can see, I'm going to welcome back to my gardening show. And so as you can see, we only have onions. So these are white and pretending these are actually people and I'm the only person and, and these are all the babies so they had to go in baby school. <laughs> okay. On that so we got some okay that's fine. The uh, smaller onions that don't fit we're going to store them separate. Yeah. What we might do is hang them on the ends actually or we can weave it through and just drape it over. Oh, Daddy. Since they don't fit through, no, that's not going to work, but that's, no. <laughs> Only two could fit. All right, start. Keep going, bud, on these onions. Yeah, I'm going to put one more in. We've got a big day ahead of us. We get these onions done, and then I'm um, going to be processing some other stuff. Um, get the potatoes laid out. Um, get them curing. 
We're making some jams today. We're going to do some more canning. Um, we've got corn that we got the um, new uh, farmer's market in town or whatever. That was pretty reasonable. So we're going to be shucking corn later. We didn't grow corn ourselves uh, this year because last year it cross-pollinated and with the farmer's corn. It just didn't taste good. So rather than mess with it, um, we went ahead and just got corn that we're going to be putting out making into freezer corn. All right, so we have finished filling our little onion rack, and it was just the right size to get our little onion harvest on here. Uh, we tried spacing out the onions so there's good airflow. We tried, uh, we tried to put the little ones in, but it wasn't really working. Yeah. So the little ones we're going to have to do something else with. We could put them in little stir fries and stuff. Yeah. Or we could just lay them out on the table and dry them that way. But uh, now these are going to cure for at least a week or two, really, until the stems are dried out and then we will uh, pull them out of the rack here for uh, long-term storage so good job bud appreciate you guys helping good job baby so let's get the uh, the small onions and then we'll uh, we'll move on to the next thing all right okay till next time happy gardening bye